Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcer disease is abbreviated as PUD. It is a break in inner lining of stomach or duodenum. And let us see about the etiology of peptic ulcer disease. There are two types, gastric ulcer and duodenal ulcer. Risk factors for gastric ulcer include H. pylori infection, NSAIDs and older patients. Risk factors for duodenal ulcer include H. pylori infection, younger patients and O blood group. Peptic ulcer disease is associated with chronic gastritis, smoking, Zollinger Ellison syndrome, hyperparathyroidism and multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. Now let us see about the pathophysiology of peptic ulcer disease. Gastric ulcer arises because of decreased mucosal protection against gastric acid. Duodenal ulcer arises because of increased gastric acid and pepsin secretion in combination with decreased mucosal protection. Now let us see about the pathology of peptic ulcer disease. Lastly, there will be a mucosal defect with clean punched out margins occurring in antral and prepyloric regions or in first part of duodenum. This picture shows gross specimen of peptic ulcer disease. Now let us see about the microscopic features. In case of active ulcers, there will be necrotic fibrinoid debris with neutrophilic infiltrate and eventually there will be granulation tissue. This picture shows histopathology of peptic ulcer disease. In case of duodenal ulcer, there will be hypertrophy of Brunner glands. Now let us see about the clinical features of peptic ulcer disease. In case of gastric ulcer, there will be epigastric pain which increases with meals, weight loss. Laboratory findings include decreased H positive secretion that is decreased hydrogen ion secretion and increased gastrin levels. In case of duodenal ulcer, there will be epigastric pain which decreases with meals and weight gain. Laboratory findings include increased hydrogen ion secretion. Now let us see about the complications of peptic ulcer disease. Gastrointestinal bleeding, perforation and obstruction are the complications of peptic ulcer disease. It is not a precursor to gastric carcinoma. Now let us see about the treatment of peptic ulcer disease. Proton pump inhibitors are the treatment of choice. H2 receptor antagonists can also be used. In case of H. pylori infection, we have to give triple or quadruple therapy which includes proton pump inhibitors along with bismuth, metronidazole and tetracycline or amoxicillin. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.